I'd uh, like to take this time to introduce one of our top fundraisers and a parent, Lori Hagelin. My son Ben was diagnosed with autism when he was two and a half years old. As far too many of you know, it's surreal to receive the news that your child has autism. And I know for many it's devastating, but I actually felt relieved. Relieved to know I wasn't crazy and I wasn't necessarily a terrible mother. I was not devastated. I was empowered and ready to get to work, and that's exactly what we did. That was seven years ago, but when I consider Ben's progress, it seems like a lifetime. These days, an Asperger's diagnosis would be more accurate, and quite frankly, you might not even know if you weren't in the know, or unless, of course, you lived with him. <laughs> ben has worked hard, and his determination is nothing short of remarkable. Ben is brave and tenacious and cares about getting it right. His mind and his soul are complicated, unpredictable, and truly beautiful. Ben is affectionate, sweet, funny, and guileless. Ben's iPod is the stuff of legends, and given any three bands, he can make you a playlist you're guaranteed to love. Ben's spirit lights up a room, and because of all of these things, I wouldn't want to change Ben, but I would like to make things easier for him. I walk for Ben. Not because I want to change him, but because I want to affect change for him. I walk to make this world easier for our kids and easier on our kids. Ben's sister Lucy is a force to be reckoned with. Like so many neurotypical siblings, she's an arresting blend of parent and sibling, playmate and therapist, friend and occasional antagonist. She is still a little sister after all. Lucy cries with Ben and sometimes cries for Ben. She worries about him. She's a caregiver and protector in the purest sense. She's strong, wise, and compassionate beyond her years. I walk for Lucy because I'm so incredibly proud that she is all of these things. And I walk for Lucy because I wish she didn't have to be. When Ben was born, he took my idea of what it meant to be a good mom swung it around over his head, smashed it on the ground, jumped up and down on it, good and hard, and peed all over it. <laughs> a couple of times. But then the strangest thing happened. When I picked up that twisted, shattered, ruined mess of my idealism, what I had was far better than anything I had previously imagined. What I see now when I look in the mirror is a far better mom than any June Cleaver ideal I could have conjured up in my mind. And let's face it, I never could have pulled off that hair anyway. <laughs> ben changed me, and for that, I'll never be able to thank him enough. So I walk for me, that I might have the strength to raise awareness, change opinions, advocate for these kids, and raise much needed funds for research, education, and programs for our families. I walk for all the moms, all the parents, who walked this road before me, who were far stronger than I ever dreamed of being. And I walk for all the parents who will walk this road after me so that maybe they won't have to be as strong. We spend a lot of time teaching our kids social skills, teaching them to consider others what others are thinking and feeling. It is my great hope that when I share my family's life with autism on Facebook or Twitter or in my blog or by proudly walking here today, I might also be teaching others to consider if even just a little what our kids are thinking and feeling. My Ben and countless others like him, because one in 110 is a lot of kids. Maybe it's time the world got to know them. Autism Speaks, and it is time to listen, because everyone deserves to be heard.